Hello friends, welcome in another class and SAP tutorial. Today our discussion topic is uh, how can we close the WBS? See, any capital estimate is uh, once completed and in future there is a no more po no more cost booking is required. Then it's our sole responsibility to complete the task and uh, close the WBS and uh, project estimates. Okay, so the all the all the task has been completed. For uh, closing up the WBS, we have to take care of the few steps. Okay, uh, pre-check uh, you have to use the transaction code uh, ME2J ME2J and uh, check out the any open purchase order if any open purchase order then kindly close the purchase order then try to close the wbs you can check this uh, open item in cji5 and click on the open item line item so cji5 in the cji3 it's available in the cji3 it's uh, give you the cost item line booking okay how much of the cost is booked in uh, your wbs and estimates each line item is showing in the cj i3 in mbbs you have to check the any inventory pending for issuing in the project or not in jps underscore wcap this is the customized transaction code uh, for the cwip and unsettled cost you can check the any CWIP is pending, any unsettled cost is pending for booking in the WBS. So these things also reflect in the CGI3 also. So for the test case, you need to open the project in CZ02, select both the line items. Both the line items means level 1 that is PD and level 2 all the line items, all the WBS. Click on the release, go in the release, go in the status, uh, go in the status, go in the TECO. Click on the TECO and save and uh, then again uh, click on the select the both the line item and click go in the status click on the close B and save. So this is the all the steps which is involved in the closing of the project. Okay and you can also extract this report in CN41 also. Hope you understand. Now we are going to do this task. Okay. Hope you understand. For example, if any further bill is coming, uh, any further is bill is pending or not, you have to ensure and uh, keep in your mind that all the Miro document has been posted. Okay. For example, first running account bill, second running account bill, third running account bills. In the different project milestone activities will be there so project in charge shall be ensured that all the running bills has been properly processed in the project or not so these things you should check okay so you can open the project in the cz03 and the cz03 you need to fill the project here okay for example, in my case, this is the electrical project EV18002131. This is the test case, okay? And this is the status. This is the project definition. This is the WBS, okay? And uh, uh, this WBS is not closed in the release date. We are going to pre check. First, we are going to do ME2Z, execute the transaction code ME2Z. If any. Uh, purchase order is pending or not if any purchase order is open or not then we are going to check fill the project definition scope of list is ALV ALV give you exact regard of that okay so once you execute if any open line item is there open purchase order is there the system will reflect this and if any purchase order is not there then system give you regard the same this is the purchase order see no open value 
no open value although open uh, all the value has been successfully processed and done payment to vendor okay the next step is use the cj i3 okay in the cj i3 uh, you need to uh, choose the appropriate date okay and uh, you need to properly choose your layout okay if you have uh, any layout created okay so once you execute the all the cost line item will be shown here only one cost line item is shown here that is the purchase order okay so it's reflecting here okay and uh, hope you understand so the next you need to click on any open line item in the cji5 here this is the option for open line item if any open line item is there then you need to choose on there so if any open line item is not there then system will give you the message no open line items are there so need to go the next check what is the next check next check is see only one uh, purchase order is there and its value is zero other its value is zero means it's uh, completed okay so what is the next check uh, sales order and project stock in mbbs use the transaction code mbbs and uh, fill the project definition or uh, wbs element then you need to get no stock exist for a specific data so no stock is pending in this wbs and uh, so we have to uh, ensure that all the checks we have done and uh, now we are going to execute the transaction code jps underscore w cap here this is customized transaction code for our company so in the here wbs you can fill and execute the report so no auc amount is there no unsettled cost is there okay so this is the asset value and all the value has been capitalized right now so no auc no project stock no open line item so all the task has been completed now see uh, the status of the wbs has been uh, take over select the both the line items and uh, select both the line items and click the status take over okay once the system once the system has completed the task it will take some time okay and uh, you need to wait for that completed once we say the system status is now take over you can uh, check the same thing in the see take over status has been done okay again select the both the line items and go in the status go in the close b and uh, click on the okay click on the okay okay again go in the select both the line item go in the status do close b now after close b uh, check the status okay check the status now the system status is uh, clsd of both the wbs and project definition okay now our task has been completed and our project and wbs has been closed now same you can check in the cc03 see task wbs has been closed now okay so our task has been completed okay
so for the closing of the WBS you need to first uh, check all these things and if anything is pending then you need to first complete the activity okay either your pro purchase order is open either any cost is open for settlement either any inventory issue for settlement either any CWIP is pending for capitalization either any unsettled cost is there for settlement either any future running bills is coming in near future either any Miro is pending for the payment okay so this is the activity we have to check before closing of the WPS again you can check this report in the CN41 for open and close the WPS we have already made the same tutorial as tutorial for the open WBS closed WBS okay thank you if you have any query in your mind please mention in the comment section and again you can reach us at erpsap team one at the gmail.com for detailed discussions okay thank you have a nice day